Hi, it's Ash from Bean Swanglish, and this is a bit of a technical solution video for those who need help. If, like me, you've just bought yourself a shiny new MSI gaming laptop, or a regular MSI laptop, and you've tried to get MSI Center to run, and it won't. Well, this video will give you the fix. Just to say, if you find this useful, hit the subscribe button, and feel free to send a super thanks to buy me a beer. So basically, even if you reset your laptop right back to factory defaults, you try and run MSI Center and you get an error that pops up saying it's abnormal or there's a problem with the msi.centralserver.exe, what do you do? Well, the first thing to do is uninstall MSI Center. Sounds odd that, doesn't it, as a solution? But trust me, it will work. You then need to download and install something called Clean Master. This is a little tool from MSI that will run through your laptop and remove all of the clutter that's stopping MSI Center from running. Don't worry, it won't affect any of your data or programs. It simply targets MSI Center. And once that's finished running, the laptop will automatically reboot. After your laptop reboots, start up the Microsoft Store on your laptop and then search for MSI Center. Once you've found it, click the buttons there to install it, but do not run it, not yet. Wait for it to completely finish installing, and then go to your Start menu, type in MSI Center to find it, but don't click it. Right click on it and select Run as Administrator. That's a really important step. You'll then be shown a really long MSI agreement, but that's fine, just scroll all the way to the bottom, check the little checkbox, and then click to continue. It will show some kind of loading screen for quite a while where it's installing and talking to the SDK and stuff like that. But eventually you'll see something you haven't seen before, which is MSI Center opening properly. And then you'll be prompted on setting it up through the wizard, etc., and you'll be up and running. Why on earth MSI didn't make this easier, I do not know. Many have complained that this issue started after MSI moved their app into the Microsoft Store, but they could still fix it and make it a much better experience for end users like me and probably you who's watching this video right now. So I hope this video massively helps. Give a super thanks by clicking below, which just buys me a coffee or a beer and says thank you for saving your computer life. Finally, comment below if this video did help you, just to let others know that this video does actually work. Thanks very much for watching.